Remember just a couple days ago and it felt like summer was almost here? Well, here was a guy spinning his car in circles of joy out on Lake Eunice down by Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Well, how quickly times have changed. Here's uh, Paul and Babe over in Bemidji at 5.40 p.m. on this Wednesday and it is snowing. The weather changes fast here. Well, here's a look at our uh, Wednesday evening weather forecast from UND's Atmospheric Sciences. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to UND's weather update. My name is Justin Storm. Taking a look at those weather hazards, we have a winter weather advisory throughout much of our region that's set to expire at midnight tonight. Below that, a winter storm warning that is also set to expire at midnight. And down to the south, just towards Minneapolis and southern Minnesota, we do have a wind advisory and a tornado watch, as well as a tornado warning and a severe thunderstorm warning as well just to the south and southeast of Minneapolis. We'll take a look at that here in just a moment. A lot of snow throughout the northern portion of our viewing area with a heavy band just to the south of Fargo actually just approaching the city now as that continues to work its way slowly to the north. Thunderstorms and rain activity throughout the central part of Minnesota and then we do have that tornado warning just to the south of Minneapolis as we zoom in on that. These are storms capable of producing tornadoes does not necessarily mean one is on the ground right now. As this storm continues to work its way towards the northeast, it should be arriving by Afton by about 541. So if you are in the way of this storm, do be or do take caution that it is possible for a tornado to form within this storm as it continues to work its way towards the northeast at about 35 miles per hour. Across our region, as we take a look in our future cast, we're going to see those storms will roll out towards Michigan, as or out of Wisconsin into Michigan, by about 10, 11 o'clock tonight as snow takes over much of the area. We'll show you snow accumulations here in just a moment. Skies will clear overnight after all of this uh, activity does work its way out of the area. We'll see clouds increase throughout Grand Forks throughout the day of Thursday, but then decrease throughout the afternoon and evening. A few scattered snow flurries are possible throughout the day of Thursday, but as we go into Friday, it does look like those skies will be mostly clear. We should be looking at partly to mostly sunny or partly cloudy to mostly sunny conditions throughout all day Friday. Now for that snow accumulation where that narrow band was, we'll be looking at around 6 to 10 inches of snow in this pink area, just to the north around the cutoff of our snow gradient in Fargo, 1 to 2 inches, and then down on the southern portion of that gradient around 4 to 8, but I do believe in the central part of Minnesota, you'll be looking at closer to 4 inches as most of this precip has already fallen down as rain throughout the central portion of Minnesota, but definitely the heaviest snow accumulation going through Aberdeen just to the south of Bemidji and then up into the arrowhead of Minnesota. Outside of Grand Forks right now, we are looking at mostly cloudy skies. We're sitting at 31 degrees with a north wind around 23 miles per hour. And across our forecast region, temperatures fairly similar in those low to mid 30s and then a few 50s and a couple of low 60s down to the southern part of Minnesota where those thunderstorms and tornado warnings are located at. Winds are around 20 to 30 miles per hour throughout much of our area, a little calmer up into northern Minnesota. But as these winds work their way out of the north around 20 to 30, they get wrapped on down in here towards a low pressure system, which is developing a lot of those thunderstorms down in southern Minnesota. Tonight we'll drop down to 26 degrees. It's still going to be windy with north winds around 10 to 20, gusting to 25. We could see a few light snow flurries over the city as we go overnight into tomorrow. And across our forecast region, again, the skies will begin to clear overnight throughout the northern part of our viewing area as well as down to the south. Temperatures sitting in those upper 20s to low 30s. And for tomorrow, a few snow flurries possible throughout the afternoon. A high of 35 and still breezy with northwest winds around 10 to 20, gusting to 25. And for our forecast region, again, we're going to see upper 30s and mid 40s throughout much of our area with partly to mostly cloudy conditions. And then down towards the southern part of Minnesota, we could see a few 50s again down in towards the Minneapolis area. For our seven-day forecast, we do cool down on Thursday, but we rebound back to 55 on Saturday. We'll stick around those mid to upper 40s throughout the rest of the week as we go into next week with another chance of rain and snow going overnight Tuesday into Wednesday.